The biggest tip if you are making a video diary or vlog, always, always, always maintain continuity. It's been a bit of a miserable June so far and we Brits do like to talk about weather, especially on a wedding. So the question is, how much of an impact can bad weather have on a wedding? And to be honest, the answer is not much. Of course, we all like blue skies and sunshine and being out in the warmth. But it is England, we have to be realistic. But don't take my word for it. Okay, five years ago, Emma and Sean, just look at how absolutely miserable these two look running around in the rain, the day was completely spoiled. Skip ahead a few years and we've got Cheryl and Carl looking so depressed as they're walking to the wedding breakfast. On certain weddings, we've literally filmed in storms. But honestly, it's not spoiled one little thing. Last weekend, we had Katie and David's at Bashawan, and it weeded it down all day. But as you can see here, Katie's walking in, and that is not on her mind at all. So when planning your wedding, it's one of the few things you, you can't control. So don't really worry about it. And on the flip side, that if you do have nice weather on your wedding, don't forget to put suntan cream on. So we get back from a wedding. What happens next? David and Katie's whose footage you just viewed, we had four cameras, one drone, three microphones for the speeches and vows, and two of these little audio recorders for the readings during the ceremony. So that's 10 memory cards that we need to back up before we start anything. So all files saved to computer and it looks something like this. There's approximately 132 gigs of uh, files in, in this wedding, which is about average really. So then I need to back up to the separate hard drive just for safekeeping. And then once everything is backed up, I will fire it over to Lisa, who will open up all the files in the editing software, and it looks pretty much something like this. So Lisa will then start organizing everything before I start editing, really. So she'll be synchronizing the three different audios from the ceremony with the three different cameras, um, and then the speeches. There was three speeches, so uh, three different audios as well. And then once she's done, uh, everything is in order, and it looks a little bit something like this. And then Lisa will fire it back over to me for safekeeping because I probably won't start any for another four or five weeks, depending on what time of year it is and how busy we are. Uh, but I have a, like a, a good start where I can see where everything's in order and I can start picking away and reorganizing it to create the wedding film itself. And if the package does include for a sneak peek, then possibly the next morning we will quickly put together a 30, 40 second clip to put on Instagram or Facebook. Yesterday I had my studio bamboo head on, so me and the team uh, spent a full day, the first of two, um, down at Bolton uh, to film for Big Screen Stacks, who make prop money for film and television. You can see it's fake through the specimen there. It was a bit of a tough shoot to be honest. It was a, 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 a full on day of, of directing the actors um, to create this short film. But it was fun. Today is June 25th and it's just been brought to my attention that 15 years ago today I shot my very first wedding film. So with that in mind I just thought I'd give you a brief on how I started in this industry. So 2004, uh, friends of ours Mark and Rebecca were getting married and I was an usher and I said "Ooh, I'll film a wedding for you. So this was long before mobile phones had video cameras. Um, and I was always one of those people in the group that sort of always had a camera on them. Um, so I had at the time a Sony TRV22E. So these things were tape based, uh, so very time consuming when it came to editing. Um, I still think I've got most of the tapes from weddings. Just look at me there, young, eager, no grey hair. 
no grey hair. So it's filming in standard definition, there was no HD or 4K, so it's very low quality compared to what you see on television today. So it took me about 26, 20 hours to uh, edit it into a 45 minute film, which is quite long considering today. But we had a, a party three weeks later and we premiered it at the house and people seemed to like it. And on the day, some people said we'd film my wedding. I said, of course. Uh, did a couple of freebies and started charging just a little bit. And I mean, a, a little bit. Until eventually I had enough money where I purchased my first SLR, which was the Canon 550D. And then started making a little bit more money where I could buy some cameras to match them, some audio equipment, because at the time the audio was just on camera, which really means it's terrible. And then made a very scary step of taking this up as a full-time profession. And at the time, did I think I could support my family by doing really what is a hobby? Thankfully, yes. It's sunny again. I've just finished my last job for June, which was a school video for a creative marketing agency. It's Friday, the sun is out, we do not have a wedding tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>